Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the Real Nico Fishing, and today I'm going to be showing you what's in my tackle box. This right here is called the Salty Super Fluke in Arkansas Shiner. And this, you're gonna jerk it on, uh, you could work this on the top of the water column and the middle water column. This right here is called the Swimming Super Fluke, and the differences between them is that they are the swimming super fluke has a little paddle tail and the regular uh, fluke has a regular tail so this one you jerk it this one you're just going to do a slow steady retrieve and then next bait is called the uh, spinner bait you're gonna work this on the top of the water column. You, you could catch a bunch of bass, big and small. And these get actually up uh, bigger, so it's not in just one size. This right here is a, a super fluke, also again, but this is the albino color. And what do the albinos do? Is there, what's different about them? The, the albino is just the, the different colors. So this is the the Salty Super Fluke Arkansas Shiner. This is the Salty Super Fluke Albino. Color. Which one do you have more luck with? Which color? Um, I haven't tried the Arkansas Shiner yet, but I tried, I tried this today and I caught a bass on it. And yesterday when I went fishing, when I took you guys on my jumbo with my dad, we caught a bunch on these ones. This right here is called a swim bait by Power Bait. And this is a small one which imitates minnows. So it, you can't, you're not gonna be able to cast it uh, a long time for a far, for, for far. So you're gonna use a bullet weight. And you're gonna put this in your line and it's, it's, a, it's a weight so you can make it uh, cast farther. And you can work it on the, on the bottom, hop it off blocks because it's gonna make it sink. This right here is a swimming super fluke, the same thing as this one, like the paddle tail, but it's just two different colors, disco green and white pearl. Is one color better than the other? Um, I'll say the, the, the best color that I've had, um, um, that I've been catching a, a bunch more bass is the disco green. Next one is the ribbit. a bunch of bass on these bass and snakeheads like the other day I was right over there and I caught a sight fish a bullseye snakehead right over there so now we're gonna go into my topwater frogs which are in this over here so first frog is this white frog with red eyes called the red eyed frog I think it's called made by I think it was by Strike King and when you're gonna set the hook when you're gonna set the hook this right here is gonna press down and those hooks are gonna go right into the fish's mouth and it's gonna get hooked this right here is another frog but it's just more natural it's a natural color This right here is a hollow body frog by Scott Martin. And why it's a hollow body, body is because of that right there. And what does that do? I actually, I don't know why they put that there. I don't know what it's, what's the purpose of it. So now we're gonna go into my hard baits. My hard baits are in here on this storage unit, I'd say. So first bait is gonna be a is gonna be a small square bill crankbait. It's it's extremely small. What are those used for? These are used for bass, and you could uh, catch them. You could catch the bass, and these usually dive. They don't dive too deep, so it's gonna uh, dive towards like one to like three feet. 
so uh, right above like the surface. Is that your John boat over there? Yes, it is. The engine is in my garage. Why do you leave your engine in your garage? Because if it rains, it doesn't mess it up. Does it rain a lot over here? Um, well, right now, because it's uh, starting to be in the summer. Um, so, this right here, hold on. square boat crankbait it's just that this one's uh bigger this dives like three to five feet three to five feet this is a lipless crankbait this dives two to three feet do you use all of those in this lake um yes i have and i've caught a bunch of bass on them this right here is a big popper um, and I have actually another popper right here. Two different kinds. This is a Strike King. I actually don't know which, which kind of brand is this because it came in a package that didn't have a brand name. So it just came in a tackle box. So these are two different. And these aren't actually, these aren't, go, these don't go inside the water. Like, yeah, so these are top water baits. So what a top water bait is, I'm gonna come over here that why they call it a popper is because it's gonna be on top of the water and it's gonna float and then you, when you're gonna jerk it it's gonna pop so it's gonna make a loud pop in the water and it's gonna pop like that and usually the bass get really mad when they make those pops and they're gonna crush it I've gotten some really cool bites on this on this I've once caught on the small popper hold on on this small popper I've caught a four and a half pounder on it, and I've caught a five pounder on it. And then, we're gonna put these back here. Uh, this right here is called the hard swim bait. That's called the hard swim bait. Shout out to my uncle Alex. He got me this for my, for my birthday last year. I haven't yet used it, but I'm probably gonna use it um, for this post pond. And what it's gonna do is in the water when you're gonna when you're gonna what's it called reel it in. Ah, oh, I got hooked. What when when you're gonna reel it in? It's gonna this right there. Why it's like cut up in pieces is because it's gonna wiggle. It's gonna wiggle in the water. So right here, this is a buzz bait. So it's gonna be on top a uh, top water. This is a top water bait but this is just gonna spin like that and it's gonna create bubbles. And the same thing, the fish are gonna get really mad and they're gonna think it's like a bait fish floating on top of the water making noise and they're gonna eat it on top of the water. Sick blobs. I've caught a big one on a buzz bait before. Same thing, this is the buzz bait but, but since it's a frog, it's called a buzz toad. Right there. Same thing, they create really uh, noises, the spins. Next bait we have is a chatter bait. Right there. You on this one you could put a, a trailer on it. On a trailer is I'll show you I'll show you later in the video. You're gonna put like a swim bait right here. I'll put a picture on it, like right over here. On my right, on my right. Well, it's gonna be on your left but my right um right here these are crappie jigs i don't i don't fish crappie 
but what I use these for are peacocks. Peacocks love these things. Peacock bass. Hold on, let me get a better angle for you guys. Right there. Then I'm gonna get pull out for you guys a jig. Oh, that's not a jig. Sorry guys for making you guys wait. This right here is a jig. And you're gonna put a trailer on it too. What's a trailer again? A trailer is like you're gonna put like a swim bait, a crawl. I most likely put a crawl on the jig. I could, you could use these for bedding. Can you can you show us how you do that? Like right now? Can yes. you put it on? Sure. I'm gonna go here in my soft plastics. Me, usually, um, hold on. I'm gonna pull out one of my Cuban baits. Mm. One of the logs. Hold on. How about this? I'll give you guys, I'll put, a, I'll put you guys a lizard on it. I wouldn't recommend a lizard, but I'm just gonna show you guys what, what to do with it, how to do it. A lizard, so that nose right there, you're gonna put it right on that hook right there. Ah, my bad. I'm gonna put it right there. all the way up like that just like that but you i'm just showing you guys how to do it but that you wouldn't put a lizard on here because it just doesn't look good and it's too long for the skirts but i'd usually put like a if you guys know what it is a guggenbait uh bandito bug or a trench hog which looks a lot better on it or you could just put a regular crawl like a zoom crawl or um uh whatever call missile baits whatever you guys want but i i'll recommend a gugan baits so that's the jig and this right there if you're asking what that what this is right here it's called the weed garter so the weeds don't get on your hook so we're done for this row and now we're going to get into my three live targets right here hold on let me organize this so this the two both life targets, um, top water baits. But the difference is that sorry, this is a bluegill pattern, and this is a, a green sunfish pattern. Pattern. And then this is a live target, also squirrel crankbait. This actually, see that right, that like there, that's actually uh, like it's pretending like there's a school of bait fish. So it's gonna look in the water to the fish like there's gonna be a, a bunch of bait fish, but it's actually one bait fish, which is the crankbait. This right here is called the Rapala Saltwater X Wrap. You could use these for uh, salt water and uh, salt water and fresh water. Well, but those are expensive, huh? Yeah, these are expensive. But it's because these catch a bunch of bass, peacock bass. They catch snook, tarpon. Eight ninety nine. Yep. I got these in the Keys, Florida Keys, in a tackle shop. This is a Strike King KVD, right here. Squirrel crankbait, dives two, uh, three to five feet. Right there, you see it? This right here is a, a lipless crankbait, Red Eye Shad. I got this in my local bait and tackle shop. Shout out to BJ Bait and Tackle. Red Eye Shad. So we're done with my first tackle box in this. Hold on. All right, guys, we're going to move on to my next tackle box. It's going to be the some soft plastics. I actually never fished with them, but. Um, I've, I, well, yeah, I've fished with them. I've fished with these flukes, and I actually caught, like, two or three bass, good-sized bass. You see, look, there's a rip on it right there, and there's a rip, you know, you caught some bass. <laughs> so, this right here is, like, a, a Senko. You could use a drop shot on it. What's a drop shot? Drop shot is, 
you're gonna use a hook and you're gonna hook it right there. So you're gonna put it through there and you're gonna put a weight. Um, then these are ribbon tails, ribbon tail worms. These are light, so you're gonna put like a little bullet weight. Um, let's see. I mean, I'd rather put a, a bullet weight, a black bullet weight. I don't know what size this is, it doesn't say it right there. I prefer tungsten weights, but. And where do you get I, those? You could get those at uh, what's it called, Bass Pro Shops, or you could get them online. They're actually cheaper at Wu Tungsten. It's the website called Wu Tungsten. Um, you got lizards right here. I've caught a bunch of big bass uh, post spawn, pre spawn, during spawn, big bed, bed bass on these. Another ribbon tail right here. You got more drop shots. This is a smaller drop shot rig. You got more lizards, different colors. Um, I've caught, like I said, I've caught a bunch of bass on drop shots on lizards. Which one's your favorite? Drop shot or lizard? Um, drop shot will usually catch more fish, not like bigger fish. Well, it will once in a while catch bigger fish, but if you want to catch bigger fish. Um, I would use a lizard. I would use the Zoom Magnum lizard, but I'll show you when I get to my other stuff, plastics. So we're done with this tackle box. So now, my next tackle box is gonna be like terminal tackle, and it's gonna be other tackle. All right, so these are my hooks right here. These are big size red hooks. I've got this size. These are small, but hey, they work. This, this size hook. I don't know what, what size hook these are because um in the package it didn't say. So I usually get the I usually get the hooks and I always look at what size they are. I think these are um I think extra wide gap hooks. Which ones do you like to use more? I like to use the extra wide gap hooks better. I usually use like I don't know. And Red where hook. where can you get the, these hooks? You could get them at Bass Pro Shops. You could get them at Dicks. You could get them on online. You could get them at like anywhere. You could get them at any fishing. You store. get them at Walmart. Walmart every everywhere. Except Target, except Target. These right here are Mustad. These are wide gap hooks, which are for live bait. Here, I'll take one out for you guys. These are small. These are spoons. I'm just I'm struggling to get them off each other because they with the treble hooks. You have to be really careful with the treble hooks. Ow! See right there. I just hooked myself. So this is silver. This is gold. I actually right here on this bank. See that duck, that little fake duck. That's like the hide there. And if you don't get them on anything, you'll get them on these spoons and cast their. Look at that. Something just jumped right there. That was actually a tarpon. There's tarpon, snook, bass, peacock bass, snakeheads, it, all in this lake. Um. So yeah, the spoons. Spoons. Then you got like more crappy jigs, but these are for like peacocks. These are what like- What do you mean crappy jigs? Crappy jigs are like it's not really a jig, but it's like a jig head, and it's like a little like worm or like a, a hair jig, and but and they're used for crappie, but I don't fish crappie, so I use them for peacocks. Um, crawfish, this is a crawfish, and you got these like this imitates like a 
<laughs> Bugs. A little minnow right there. Put a, a like a half ounce jig head and it'll be solid. And you got these little top water toads right here. I've actually never fished with these. I might as well just try them. And drop a comment below, or if the, I think the, my comments are disabled right now. So just leave a like if you want to see my uh, live shiner video, because me and my uncle are going to uh, do a live shiner video on Saturday. And we're going to explain what are live shiners and what you use, what, what fish you could catch with live shiners. Now the crawfish. These little things, tubes. This thing, you could put a jig head on it. There's another tube. So, oh, you gotta never forget a Senko. It's ripped. I've caught, I've caught like, I actually, I remember this bass. My, I've caught a four and a half, I could tell, um, what's it called by what Senko it was because of that rip. None of, I usually my sinkos I have rips I usually like throw them away but I kept this one because I've caught a five and a half pounder I've caught a six pounder on it and I actually caught I've caught like so much fish on, on this the same Cinco. one yep on the same one and it never ripped and it finally ripped and I've always kept it right here so yeah all right, guys, we're gonna. That's done for these tackle boxes. So now we're gonna go on to my uh, uh, soft plastics. All right, so we'll come in here. Take a look at that. Look at that overload of uh, soft plastics. The reason why I have these soft plastics right here, mom, if you can show them that. I can't fit any more stuff in here, so I'm gonna need a new tackle box. A big, a new, another big tackle box. Well, you better save up for that. Rage swimmers. Look, actually, these rage swimmers, you can use these, like I said, for the um when I pull out the little handed end the chatterbait. Look at that right there. Perfect match. You can put this on a Texas rig. I'll um, I have another video coming for you guys probably next week on what a Texas rig is. So I'll show you guys that. You can guys put this on trailer for a chatterbait, um, that uh, Texas rig. You could do anything with these. Put it on a what's it called? I forgot the name of it, but it's this right here. Hold on. Let me show you guys it's on the back. Right there. See that, guys? You know that. Everything. More swim baits. A little dipper. Got, what are those for? You could use them for chatter baits, the trailers. You could use a Texas rig with a weight. These are um, saucy swimmers, Google baits. Not more swim baits. I have a bunch of swim baits. Got the Zoo Magnum Lizards. You got Guggen baits. Uh, Lunker Log, five inch. This is um, a white pearl. The Zoom Magnum Lizards, I should get. Yeah. I've caught so much fish on these Guggen baits. I have yet to try the sausage swimmers. You could see that because the, the, they're still there. The Zoom Magnum Lizards, I've caught so much bass on these. I've caught so much fish. How many, how many bass do you think you've caught in this, in this lake right here, in this lake? I've caught so much that I don't even know how much. Like, probably, to be honest, over, like, 500. Easily. Probably more. Like, a lot more. Probably, like, I don't, I don't even know how much fish. I've caught so much fish here. I've caught fish in other lakes, ponds, 
And what I've actually done is on my golf cart, we ha I have rod holders and we go to the canals, we go to um, ponds, and we go fish in them. These right here are called a fluke stick. So it has the tail of a fluke, it has the tail of a fluke, and it has um, a body of a Senko. It's actually pretty cool. So it's a stick bait with like the tail of a fluke. I've caught a bunch of bass. I actually caught like two or three bass on um, this spring on this worm, sight fished. What's sight fished? Sight fished is like, say if you see a bass and you like see them, you can uh, flip in there and you'll, catch, and you'll see them eat the worm. Which is actually really cool. It's one of my favorite ways to catch bass. Show you guys these rage swimmers, a little dipper. What I, oh, these here right here, the crawls. Right here, those beaver style baits, crawls. This is what you'll put on that, but not that color. The color, it wouldn't match. So I'll give. Does it have to match, or you just like for it to match? No, you, it has to match. It has to. Well, yeah, it matches. What do you think, Mom? I think, it, I think it matches. We gotta get that weed guard out of there. Boom, right there. Hold on. It's a little long for that, but it works. That little football jig. Cut so much bass on this thing. This is a Big bass catching machine. I'm telling you, it's true. You better gotta get you one of these football jigs. You got to catch so much bass on them. And numbers small, and you'll catch a bunch of big bass. I'm telling you, you gotta get the bunch. Put this up. Cinco's. I always run out of my Cinco's. I usually wacky rig them. I don't really use Texas rig. I've caught a bunch, like five pounders on these. What's My, wacky rig again? Wacky rig. Um, I'll give you guys. I'll get you guys a hook. So, a wacky rig. If you guys don't know what a wacky rig is, we're gonna go like this. It's pretty easy. Get you guys. Cinco. You see that right there? Right in the middle. We're gonna put the hook right in the middle of that. And I know you're thinking right now in your head, how does a bass want to eat that? But it's just it's crazy. You catch so much. Oh, look at that. A bass just uh, jumped on a bait fish. That's when the flukes come into place. Or the swim baits. Imitate it. We'll put these back. Right now. Then we got, which I got, I got these from, from my mom and dad on Valentine's Day. I got a Valentine's Day present, and I got these. Hold on. This, you're going to do a Texas rig on it. Remember, I'm going to say, uh, do a, what's it called, video on Texas rig. Um, this is actually light, so you're going to need to put a, a bullet weight on it. Okay. Put a bullet weight out there let it sink hop them off rocks off weeds catch a bunch of bass i've only used these once and i and i caught like three in like 30 minutes it's crazy all of these like some baits just don't work and some baits just work every time it's crazy more zoom magnum lizards you're gonna say why do you have the same color they're identical but they're not really this is actually if you could tell a little bit lighter uh six inch lizard watermelon seed this is a six inch lizard watermelon chart so yep got these both at um what's it called bj's bait and tackle really good uh bait and tackle shop um last one of these baby bass flukes i've caught a i've caught a bunch of these but my biggest bass on this worm is a five pounder and actually, fun fact, 
Um, look at these. These are Zoom uh, Lizard 6 inch. Look at this color. I got these for Christmas for my grandma and grandpa and my uncle. Look at that. Don't tell me that doesn't look good. These for bat, big bass, bedding, spring, maybe some post spawn action. Catching big old bass. What's the fun fact? Um. Oh, fun fact that um, fluke. I caught him um, on. Wait, it wasn't the color. It was bubblegum fluke. I know you're asking me what. Why are you using pink? But trust me, it works. And it was a pink fluke. And see that? See those mom? Faces? See those? You guys see those palm trees right there? To the left of them, there's a bed. And I caught a nine pounder, a nine pounder. I'm gonna show you a picture of it right there on your left. It's gonna be, it's, you're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, wow. On a fluke, bed. I didn't even use a crawl, a jig or anything. Crazy. Gambler, gambler go fish, swim bait. I have a bunch of swim baits. I love swim baits, guys. You gotta get you some swim baits. Swim baits are the money. Now there are more rage swimmers. This in a different color, 3.75 inch. So what? if somebody was just starting to fish, mm -hmm. okay, and they don't have, they have like 20 bucks to spend on, on bait, mm -hmm. what would you tell them to get? Do you, are you counting the 20 bucks? Are you gonna count like terminal tackle, rod and reel? What do, what do you? Just bait. Just bait. I'd gotta go, if with $20, if if you're not on a budget, I would recommend Gary Yamamoto Senkos. They're the best, but they're like $6. Okay, so well what if you're on a budget? Expensive. You got like 20 but bucks. if you're on a budget, um, where are they? Uh. Uh, yum dingers, yum dingers. You could get these for like a dollar seventy-five, and they work just fine. They never rip. Well, they do rip, but you have to catch like five to six bass, and then they'll rip eventually. Um, and these are like a dollar seventy-five. Get you always gotta get Cinco's when you're on that budget. Okay, so get, what else like, can you get? A Z-Man chatterbait. Um. What I, yeah, Z-Man Chatterbait. With, you always gotta get a trailer. You could get Rage Swimmers. Um, How much are those? These are like two bucks. Okay. Um, And I would get them in the, yeah, on the 3.75. Actually, no, don't get this size. Get like a, get a little bit, the next size smaller and you'll catch them. You could, cause what's funny with the, with the Chatterbait is that you could use these as a trailer and then you could use these on a Texas rig. And then I would get... You're going to show us how to Texas rig on another video? On another video. I'm going to post that video next week. Um, always get yourself a drop shot worm. Um, get yourself... Uh, I, I'd get a zoom. Don't get Guggen baits because these are... I mean, get the Guggen baits. But when you're, not, when you're on a budget, you're just... You don't get these because these are really expensive. These are like... How, how much do you get these for? Like what, seven dollars, eight dollars? Around that. And the zoom ones are how much? Zoom drop shots, they're like three bucks. Okay. So big difference. And remember, I said Senkos. Get you, get you. Uh, get lizards. Get some crawls. Um, get yeah, get these types of swim baits. These swim baits are good. Power bait, right there. Always get these baits. Um, and yeah, I would just, that's it. I, would, I wouldn't get anything else. Those, for those $20, I think you'll catch a bunch of bass. Um, next bait are these horny toads right here. I've actually caught so much bass on these. They look really weird, but trust me, you'll catch a bunch of bass. They actually work really well. Honey. All right, guys, my last two baits, which are ginormous, 12-inch worm, and this is a 7-inch, 7-inch yum dinger. Look at that thing. 
nice, fat, big, juicy, salty. It actually smells like garlic. Smell it, you guys. Smell it. I've caught a uh, five pounder on these things. Giant. Giant. And take a look at this thing. 12 inch worm. Look at that. I know you're like Nico. Did you actually catch one on this? And yes, I did. I caught a seven seven pounder on this on my John boat. I'll show you guys the picture. Um right here on this guy. Big boy. Big boy 12 inch. And one one last thing you need to have when you're fishing. Where'd it go? Um, hold on. My tool. Oh, here you are. I got these for Easter, so you always gotta have your fishing pliers, just in case the fish, the hook gets stuck in the back of their throat. You go through their through You're their gonna gills. show it, do a video where you show how to do that? Yes, I will. Once I learn, I don't, I haven't really fully learned it. My dad knows how to do it really well. But he's, Maybe you he's could do a get, video with dad. I will do a video with my dad, yes. And then, so that, and then I will learn a little bit more and then I will get it perfection and then you guys will get it perfection. So, yep, these pliers right here, these are actually made for fishing. Um, then you got, you need scissors. Wrap all the scissors to cut yeah, the line. So you don't use my scissors. You need these scissors. What do you use those for? To cut the line. You need to cut the freebies to cut the line. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching what is inside my tackle box. Please drop a comment what your top five favorite baits are in your tackle box. Please like, subscribe, um, hit the post notifications, the Real Nico Fishing out.